friends, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and um, well, you know, I actually did some <laughs> real work today off camera, and I didn't get a video, a proper video done, um, and my daughter's birthdays are coming up, so we all went out to a Japanese steakhouse for dinner, and I've never had the experience of sitting at a hibachi before, which I'm not sure is the best vegan experience, um, but I did have the guy that does the thing with the food, he shot sake into my mouth from across the room, it was quite something, half of it went down my blouse, so I smelled very boozy for the rest of the day, but it was kind of fun anyway, um, but anyways, so after the, the high end, <laughs> high end for us, high end dinner, we decided to, uh, to slum it and go to the dollar store, nothing wrong with the dollar store, I went in for a box of tissues, that's all, I knew I needed some stuff, but, uh, I definitely knew I needed a box of tissues, the Dollar Tree tissues are not my favorite tissues, they're a little scratchy, but I've been blowing my nose on toilet paper for the last couple of days, and I don't want to sound hoity-toity, but I don't like blowing my nose on toilet paper, I don't care how soft it is, I don't like blowing my nose on toilet paper, I don't know what it is, I got a spring for the tissues, so I did get a couple boxes of tissues, however, that was not all I got, I'm not going to show you all here, I spent way too, oh my god, it's, uh, I, you wouldn't even believe what I spent, actually, if you have a guess of how much I spent at the Dollar Tree tonight, leave it in the comments below, and if anyone guesses right, I will let you know. Um, okay, so I'm just going to show you the kind of crafty stuff that I got because, um, hey, it's nice to save some cash on our crafts. All right, so, oh, first thing, baby wipes. Now, ticking me off a little bit here. I always get these uh, dollar store baby wipes because I'm just going to wipe ink off my hands. I'm not wiping a precious little baby's bottom. I'm wiping ink. So, okay, so bonus pack, 20% more. 84 wipes. They've always been 80 in a package, and so they think they're gonna trick us by saying it's normally 70 wipes in a package, and now it's 84, and whoop de doo we got 14 free wipes. No, you're you're just uh, putting less in there and putting a new sticker on the old packaging and saying that we're getting a deal. Dislike. Thumbs down, Dollar Tree, or whoever makes these, so I am not fooled. I'm still buying your wipes, but I am not fooled. Not at all. All right, packing tape, because I am always running out of this when I am uh, sending out the bow jigs, which are available in my shop, Handmade Shop, and I will put a link below if you want to check out the fabulous bow-making jig that my husband makes. They're really awesome. Um, all right, so then... <sighs> they okay. They have the seasonal things out, and if I'm looking at the Halloween stuff, I love Halloween. But then on this little lonely, like little, you know, the little strip with all the things lined up like that on the little strip thing. So you walk by and you see them. They had all this Christmas washi tape, and so I'm like, well, I don't know. I don't really use washi tape, but oh, that's cute. I could use that on a couple. Of th oh well. Oh, I like that one. And well, if I'm gonna get that one, I might as well get this one. And oh, well, I don't wanna leave this one behind because that one's really cute. Oh, and you know, I really think I would use a little gingerbread. And these are really cute. I'll, I'll make all my cards by hand, and I will make all my envelopes, and then I will use the washi tape to seal them so they absolutely will not go to waste. Remind me why I have 20 rolls of washi tape come January. But I got these. I couldn't resist them. They actually had one of each kind on the strip of little strip there where they advertised them, and I felt bad for the four patterns I left behind because they were there with none of their friends that I took home. I felt really bad. I might have to go back for them. Stop the insanity. I went in for a box of tissues, people! Jeez! Pointy Q-tips. I like to use them with baby oil to blend my colored pencils. I have a video on that. I'll put a link below so you can check out the baby oil pencil video, and um, what else did I get crafty wise? Um, I got some more studio solutions, this is my receipt, I'll have to keep that so I can, uh, when you guys guess how much I spent, I can verify it or not. Um, so I got this calendar, it's really pretty, and I think that, um, I'll show you the designs, it's a dollar, 2015 calendar, um, I just love these, these designs, and I think they'd be really pretty gift wrap or envelopes or something. Or even, I don't know, make some stationery, some cards with them. They're so pretty. I hope the paper quality isn't total crap. But um, I just really liked that. It looks familiar. I'm wondering if it's licensed by somebody. It's, oh, Heather Mayers. Licensed by Linda McDonald, Inc. Okay, so that's where it comes from. I just thought these were really pretty, so gotta have it. I'll hang up in my studio. It'll be inspiring. Or by my computer. I don't know. And um, I am a big believer in having a monthly planner. That's kind of how I plan. Um, day planners don't seem to work for me. Week at a glance don't work. I like the monthly format because what I do, and this is just a little, um, ooh, does it start early? No, this is uh, 2016. I can get a jump start. I don't know what else they have in here. Airlines. I can book myself a airline and a hotel. Look at that. Very, very handy if I didn't have the internet this 
be maybe useful. <laughs> um, so, but the reason I like the um, the monthly planners, and I won't show you this current one because I might have secrets in there. I can't show everybody my secrets. But um, what I do is say if I get. Um, well, I have things like every Wednesday I'm producing a video for Paper Mart, so I always write down what the theme of that video is going to be. Um, then I'll work out other projects I'm working on and when I'm teaching my live, my real life people classes, I write them down in here so I can plan and pull supplies and if I need anything I can go and grab it at the next time I'm at the store. Um, and then in the notes section what I'll do is I'll write down um, requested videos by viewers. I just jot them down because I usually end up having like a stack of post-it notes. I have a stack by my bed when I think up ideas before I'm going to sleep um, and then I'll have a stack by the computer upstairs because I might be checking email and um, YouTube comments and whatnot and somebody will have a really great idea for an upcoming tutorial so I'll just jot that down. Then I bring the stack of notes down and um, I transpose them out if I think I'm going to get to it. If it's something that's not quite this season yet, I might go ahead and write it or just kind of keep it the stack of post-it notes clipped in here. I always still have the scraps of random notes, but I like to organize it here so I know how to plan uh, my upcoming videos and tutorials and classes and, um, you know, when articles are due, deadlines and stuff like that in, a, in hopes to be more organized. But it does really help me a lot because when I can see all my ideas, I don't come down here in the studio and have have that you know crippling creative block and I don't know what I'm gonna do next so I did grab this I figured a buck my last one was 88 cents from Madden's but I don't know if I was gonna come across that deal this year so I thought I would uh, I would risk losing that uh, 18 cents is that no 12 cents <laughs> Okay, and an upgrade to a dollar. Well, that's it. That's my exciting crafty haul. I still smell very boozy from my trip to Kobe Steakhouse. It was very fun. I, they did make very good allowances for me being a, a vegetarian, um, so I didn't have to eat the eggy rice. So it was uh, it was fun. The kids had a ball. And, uh, you know, actually, it wasn't as expensive as I thought it was going to be. Um, so very busy weekend ahead. My kid, my twins are turning 10. So if I am not here with uh, daily tutorials this weekend, I apologize, but I still might be. Who knows? I'm a mystery. Uh, but I'm seeing Lauren and Kathy tomorrow, so we're going to get some Mask of Crafter stuff dealed out, like settled down, nailed down, whatever you want to call it. So uh, that'll be coming up pretty darn soon. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Check out my other haul videos if you want. They're somewhere. Just, just search haul on my channel. Maybe I'll have links. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll put a thingy for haul videos over here. I could do that. Maybe I'll do that. All right. Well, uh, we'll catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, happy crafting.